Welcome back to the channel folks today for our second cooking video last time we grilled Steaks outside today. We're going to move inside to the oven stovetop We're going to make a shepherd's pie. I've heard it called different things But notice the time we're going to start at 355 basically four o'clock And to start with we're going to go ahead and throw out there. Yes, I am going to cheat and use taters in a box but Fresh mashed potatoes is much better. But anyway, what you'll need to start with is some hamburger meat, some sausage, and a good iron skillet. First thing we're going to do is get that all fried up, drain it, then we'll be back with you. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video. Take this time, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll be right back here and get started. Okay, we have the hamburger and the sausage chopped up in the pan now. Then we'll let them fry together and get them all stirred up. What you'll have when you're done, it'll kind of look like you're going to make sloppy joes or manwich. It'll all be stirred together and worked up, and like I said, you got to drain the grease. Now, I've heard a lot about using cast iron on a glass oven top like this. As long as you're careful and not beating and banging the pan, Heat the metal, heat the pan slow, cool it slow. I've got it set on five. Once it gets up, gets warm, gets started frying, I'll turn it on up. The pan will be warm enough. Doesn't hurt a thing. This thing will end, we'll end up baking it in the oven after we put the potatoes and stuff on it. But just be careful with the cast iron. Heat it slow, cool it slow. It'll be fine on a glass top oven. While this is starting to fry, I'm going to do some prep work. Slice and dice the onion. And slice and dice this up. Get everything ready. That way you kind of move the video along. We'll be right back. And something I've discovered, <clears throat> you don't need to do a cooking video without doing a quick knife showcase. This is the knife of choice. It is a Becker. K-Bar Becker. BK-15, designed by Ethan Becker. Great knife, great guy. You ought to look him up. This thing works wonderful in the kitchen. Just thought I'd throw that out there. You can still find them. They're scarce. They're rare. I think this one is discontinued, but look around. They can be found. All right, I'm going to prepare this onion and all, and I'll be right back. And the BK-15 made quick work of the garlic and the onion. This is what we needed to look like. We'll just set that aside for a few minutes until the meat, which is coming along just fine, we get it all fried up. Then, like I said, we're going to drain it. Get it turned over. Still got a ways to go. So, it's cooking. I've got it turned up to six. Like I said, heat it slow. It'll be fine. We're going to go ahead and start getting this stuff ready here in a minute. But set the onion aside. Everything's coming along just fine. We'll be right back. All right, quick update. Meat's coming along just fine. It's almost done. It's almost ready to drain. I'll leave this alone here for a minute. Instant taters. I do apologize. I'm not going in how to make them. It's on the box. But I will say... My wife is the tater maker, and she happens to be at work. If uh, she was here, we'd put real mashed potatoes on top of this thing, but hey, we'll just use what we got. Get this meat all fried up here, and we'll get it to drain here in just a minute. So we've got the meat frying. Instant taters in a box ready to go. Cream of mushroom. Onions, the only thing we don't have out. I'll get it in a minute. Here's the cheese to top it off with before we'll go ahead and get the oven set up here on 400 degrees. You'll notice it's only, we've only been working on this 10 minutes, so this doesn't take a long time. You just got to make sure the meat is fried. Can't stress that enough. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. 
<clears throat> okay, once you get the meat drained, which is what I've got going on here, I've got my onions and garlic down in here and just letting it cook. We'll get ready, we'll stir all this up here in a minute. We've got to let this cook up and get warm. So we'll leave that and go back to our box taters. All right, we got this stirred up and it's almost ready. Got the taters ready. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, you need one bag of the frozen mixed vegetables. Already cooked, they're just ready to mix in here and ready to go. Just thought I'd throw that out there, I forgot to mention it earlier. Just check this, be right back. We have the vegetables all stirred up in there, they're just about ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get my cream of mushroom opened up here. What we'll want to do is just stir all that up together, let it all mix together and sit there and simmer for a few minutes on the stove. The oven's already heated to 400. We're going to take the taters here in just a minute, spread them over it with some cheese, and we'll get this thing in the oven. Just hold on. Okay, I've got the cream of mushroom all stirred up with the vegetables, the sausage, and beef and garlic. And I have to admit, when my wife first brought this recipe in, it looked a little rough. I was questioning it, but I tell you what, it, it sure is good. So, nothing special I did, but just everything that goes in it. But anyway, I'm fixing to get the taters spread on it, and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Simply put the potatoes on it, smear it around. I added a little bit of pepper to the top of this one. Oven is heated, and we're ready to throw it in the oven. 400 degrees for I don't know about 10 minutes and we'll be right back and there we are folks finished product the only thing I don't have to put on it I failed to get was a bag of shredded cheese hmm. anyway it took us I guess roughly an hour might could have done it a little faster but you gotta wait till your meat cooks and don't worry about, like I said, don't worry about using one of these iron skillets on top of this stove. Everything's okay. Heat it slow, cool it slow. Anybody that uses cast iron will know how to clean it. Ain't going into all that. Back to the food. I've heard it called shepherd's pie. That's what this is. I've heard it called several other things. Anyway, it's a pretty good recipe that my wife found. Don't know where she got it. It's awesome. Y'all give it a try. We'll be back. I don't know what we'll fix next time. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Comment. Feel free to comment. I'm open to comments. They don't bother me. Open to corrections. Point out the mistakes if you see any. If you got any ideas, I'm good. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.